Hi guys, welcome to part three of Enendo Way of the Ninja. If you'll take a look, our character's at level nine, where it was at level four in the previous video. That's because of something rather embarrassing. I had recorded part three and gotten all the way to Mount Fuji and normally when you lose a battle, you're not supposed to immediately die. But that's what happened to me, so I decided to grind a bit. Unfortunately, not all Let's Players are the best at video games, and I thought that level 4 was just fine to lose a battle and not die. Apparently that's not the case. Wow, that sucks. I guess I'll have to fight the fodder. Sometimes you can die against normal enemies after just losing without being injured, but normally you have to be injured in order to die. Okay, the fact that, that Nobunaga's body was burned indicates we're getting the second scenario. The first scenario, the scenarios have to do with the end of the game. The first scenario, you would have just seen Nobunaga walking by perfectly unharmed. It would have said something to the effect of, there were too many of his men for me to do anything. In that scenario, Nobunaga would have been just normal Nobunaga fighting to unify Japan. Since his body was burned, that indicates we've got the second scenario, in which he will gain magical powers and you, we will fight lots of monsters. I'm going into the cities because, to show you the inn where you can save your game, I have two games already saved, you can talk to people. Sometimes you'll hit meat and people will immediately threaten to kill you. That doesn't always happen. The smiley face with the green number next to it is their trust in you. What they into what they what statement they greet you with de depends on how much trust they have in you. Genojo here has no trust in me. He's never met me before, so he says, "What do you want with me?" If you st if they if you click on any of these and they say th and they seem non-committal, they don't want to talk to you. It, this just happens at random. Usually you can click on one of these and get information. You can view their stats. You can try to enlist. Okay, that... See, he's at level 3. I'm at level 9. You can talk to him. You can attack him. You can just leave and choose to meet someone else. That's a... The, you... The... Of all the questions you can ask of someone, really the only one that will be that will matter, because lots of you won't be able to find work after the fifteenth of ever, of any month, and half the time they'll say places that you don't have access to at the at that time or that are far away. But Oda, you find out their allegiance to Nobunaga. Someone who says something like this will never join you. And if you somehow get their trust above 40 and they do join you, it will slowly decrease back to zero instead of increasing towards 100, and they will eventually desert you. And then if you try to enlist them again, they will say, we're just not compatible. That's an inn. This is a tea house. There's no one here. You can drink tea and get information. It's not terribly useful information, so you may not want to do it. This is a medic. Now, if you're injured or poisoned, you can pay 20 gold for him to heal you. Or you can buy antidote for poison or elixir for injuries for less than 20 gold and save your medicine, your money. You can talk to NPCs just by running into them. This is a weapon shop. The 
This is a guild. You can sell stuff here. You can't sell key items. I could go left, but it's not going to matter. There's nothing there of importance except another city and a small village. <laughs> this is Mikawa. We're here to talk to some very important people. People who you might want to recruit later on. Now, Kagero is a female ninja, and female ninjas are very fast, but they're faster than men, but not as strong. Sometimes they're useful, sometimes they're not. Hanzo, this guy, you will definitely want to recruit at lower levels. When you reach higher levels, it stops. he stops being so amazing. But he's always at least three levels above you. And no matter what you do, he'll always say this. The only way to recruit him is to attack him and hope you win. And hope he doesn't die. The reason why Hanzo is so useful is not just because he's higher level than you, but also because he has flight. He can fly. This is a casino. It's a high class casino. How do I know it's high class? Because it's wider than this which is a commoner's casino. When you have less than like a thousand gold, this casino will let you in. You try to go in this one, they kick you out. Casinos are a little bit useful, not always. You can get chips if you're really good at figuring out the timing, which I'm not. You can win stuff. I've bought a defense item to show you how to equip. Notice I didn't buy a sword. That's because I could find one in Mount Fuji. Kai Castle. I'm going in here simply because I want to have access to it. <laughs> this guy usually t tries to kill you. I'm surprised he's not doing that. I guess it's because I'm not important enough <laughs> yet. We'll be seeing him again, I'm sure of it. At first, you can't go through these gates unless you win at the casino and get an item called Eel Extract. First of all, just want to show you something really quick. Anytime you see one of those, it's a dungeon with a training ground. Some dungeons are just there. These dun dungeons have training grounds. You can talk to him, the elder. He tells you information about where to go once you finish a dungeon. <laughs> Usually there are people at a dungeon. Sometimes there aren't. This guy, huh, that's strange. Amaji Koji is a healer, and someti sometimes healers will just walk up to you and say, I've been looking for you, I want to join. And I'm almost out of time, but the one thing I want to do is hopefully show you that some of the enemies are different in this dungeon than the previous dungeon. Giant Serpents. They're not much more of a threat than giant rats or giant centipedes. 
They also don't give you much more experience. Anyway, that's it for part three.